Hi, my name is Clay and in this demonstration I'll be illustrating the use of the Embroidery Deduper to clean up the designs of my new downloads folder. This will extract any zip or RAR files that I may have and remove any duplicate designs. It will also identify the most desired format of a given design that's available in the folder and recommend the deletion of the unwanted formats. To get started, we'll need to choose the folder that we wish to dedupe. In this case, I'll choose my downloads folder. Although I'll be using the embroidery deduper to clean up my downloads folder in this example, the same technique could be used to clean up a top level category folder such as my angels folder. We'll now need to check our preference settings to ensure that the proper dedupe level is set as well as verify that our preferred format list is set properly for our machine. You may also choose any additional formats to keep using the Retain Additional Types panel. This is useful if you own multiple brands of machines. For the file type priority list, we need to set this up to tell the deduper what file formats we prefer over other ones. It uses this list to determine that information. The topmost format in the, the very top of the list indicates our most preferred format, while the bottom format is our least preferred. You can customize this list by selecting the custom option, selecting a given format, and moving it up or down in the list using the up and down arrow keys. For this example, we'll use the Viking preset option. Next we need to set the dedupe level. The dedupe level is used to indicate at what level we want to exclude duplicates. For this example we'll use the dedupe level of 1. Dedupe level 1 is normally used for a downloads folder or a top level category of designs such as your angels folder. This means that we don't want any duplicates under that entire folder. A dedupe level of 2 is less common and is normally only used to dedupe your entire embroidery designs folder. More information about the dedupe level and, and further clarification is in the program help and is also illustrated in other tutorials on our website. By default, the embroidery deduper deletes any zip or RAR files if it has managed to successfully extract them. However, in the latest version of the software, you do have the option now by selecting the Move Zip and RAR Files to the Archive Directory after Successful Extraction option to actually move those zip files to a separate folder after successful extractions. You can then back them up to CD or manage them however you see fit. For this example, however, we'll just let the deduper delete them. To save the settings, we press the OK button. To begin the dedupe job, we simply press the Begin Dedupe button. While the job progresses, statistical counters will indicate the progress. When the job is finished, the duplicate summary window will be displayed, indicating any duplicate or non-preferred files along the left-hand side of the panel, along with their corresponding original or preferred file on the right-hand side. The duplicate and non-preferred files are pre-selected to be deleted. Upon reviewing the results, press the Delete Selected Files and Proceed button to go to the next screen. If any problems have been encountered during the extraction of zip or RAR files, the deduper would show a similar report showing what files have been quarantined. The quarantine is for problematic files that had at least some error during the extraction process. You can review that folder and try to manually extract them yourself or manage them how you see fit. Finally, 
The embroidery deduper will show the location of the summary report and also give the option to view the report. The summary report is simply an HTML document that can be viewed in any web browser and contains the information that was presented in the summary windows. This concludes the demonstration and thank you for your interest in the embroidery deduper.